running? Why are you running? If there's one thing that makes starter scripters shaking fear when they're starting is data stores. I remember back when I started the way people were talking about data stores, I started to think that data stores was like the final boss of scripting or something like that. But honestly, once you see data stores from a certain perspective, it becomes incredibly easy to understand and that's what I will do in this video. I will turn a scripter's worst nightmare into your biggest ally because once you master data stores, you can really take your games to the next level. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's get started then. If you don't know what data store is, it's basically a service that is integrated in roblox that lets you store and retrieve data into the roblox databases and this pretty much just lets you save data for your game very easily most of the time i saw data stores as this hard thing to do just because it has to do with servers manipulating data and all that but once i switch how i saw data stores i immediately grasped the concept and started using it in a variety of ways the way you gotta see data stores is like a giant global table that you can access it actually works very similar to a table here's why a table stores data right you can get data from a table right and you can do stuff with that data right and you can also change the data from that table right well guess what bro that's literally just how data store works the only difference is the syntax or or like the words that you gotta type in the script for you to actually to be able to do all those things it's actually not that hard i'll give you an example right now using code and we'll learn it together okay i have two events here the player added event which fires every time a player is added and the player removing which fires every time a player leaves the game every time a player joins the game a number value which is something that you can use to like store a number so yeah a number value called coins will be created and stored under his player instance i also have two parts one that once touched is going to increase the value of the number called coins by one and another one to decrease it by one of course you can see them in workspace now the red one to remove the blue one to increase i won't really explain how i made it so it increases the value but you can download the place i'm using and take a look at the code there's a script inside each of these parts it's a second link in the description i also made a ui that shows how many coins you have don't worry about that this is a data store video right so all we're gonna be focusing on is data stores again if you want to do this step by step with me just download the place what we're gonna do is make it so that the amount of coins is saved for every player that way when it goes up or down the next time they join the game they have the same amount of coins as when they left their last session and the way we're gonna do it is obviously through the use of data stores before we actually start go to file game settings security and make sure that enable studio access to api services is enabled if this is off then you won't be able to get data into your game first thing we're gonna do is access the data store service and create a new data store which would be the equivalent of creating a new element for a table you do that by typing local data store service equals game colon get service data store service and this pretty much just gives you access to the data store service what you're seeing on screen is like a representation of what i want you to imagine when you're creating the data store so you have the data store here in the top right now to create a new element inside this data store for you to access you do local player coins data store equals data store service colon get data store player coins and what just happened is this if there's no element named player coins inside data store then it will create one and of course this will only happen once right because by the time the second player joins this will already be created right all right cool so inside the element called player coins there's going to be a list of all your players or actually a list of all your player ids of the players that have joined your game and it's going to tell you how many coins they actually have but we're not there yet so we gotta make that happen and if you don't know what i mean with player ids it's actually very simple to understand you see how in prison every inmate is assigned a number well every roblox user also has an id you can check yours by going to your profile and checking the link this set of numbers is your id and the reason we use ids to represent the player in the list is because it never changes whereas your username can be changed by paying robux of course and the last thing you want is for one of your players to change their name and then find out that they lose all their data in the game okay now that we have out of the way let's make it so that the player is added onto the player list i mentioned before so so first you check if the player is in that list the way you do that is by typing local coins data is equal to player coins data store column get async player dot user id if coins data then else print player has no coins data and what's going on here is that we're making the coins data variable to any stored data inside of the player coins data store corresponding to the player's id so basically 
basically we're trying to access the list and trying to access the player's data searching for his id inside the list to see how many coins they have however you also need to take into account that if there's no data meaning if the player is not inside the list then it will be equal to nil meaning that that element inside the list does not exist and then we use a simple if statement to check if the element exists or if it does not exist and if it didn't exist it's gonna print player has no coins data obviously since we haven't scripted it so it saves the data if you join the game right now it will print player has no data okay next if he has no data meaning if he's not an element in the list then all you're gonna do is add him into the list right what you're gonna do for that is player coins data colon set async player dot user id comma zero after that just print player coins data created for player and basically set async is what you use to pretty much create and overwrite any data corresponding to the id because as you can see it has two parameters the first parameter is what element in the list you want to overwrite and as i said before what we use to represent the player in the list is the player id so we get the player id by doing player.user id that's the first argument and then you have to put in the second argument what is the element going to be basically it's going to overwrite any element or anything that the player id is equal to in the list to whatever you set in the second argument if you test again you'll see that it printed player has no coins data and right after that it printed player coins data created for the player meaning that now the player is on the list now we're going to go back to the code and add a print under if coins data print player has data and now if the player is inside the list meaning if he has data inside that data store then it will print player has data and if it doesn't then this should happen right but it won't right because we already added him into the list when he joined the game so let's test again and as you can see it says player has data okay so the last thing we gotta do in this bit of code is make it so if the player has data then make the value of the number value called coins equal to whatever amount of coins it says on the list right because the list is going to indicate how many coins they have right all you're going to do is player coins dot value equals coins data for you to be able to see what a number value is this is stored inside the player instance let me show you real quick i'm a test so we're here inside the test and this is the player instance and this number value is basically this element that you see right here on screen i'm going to be highlighting it yeah that's pretty much the number value that we created and as you can see it's called coins because that's what we use up here right yeah just in case you didn't know what was happening and pretty much to change the number that this instance has you gotta use that value and we're making the value of that instance because it has a value property you can check it right here and we're pretty much overriding the value of that instance to what it says on the list did that make sense hopefully it did but if you test like this and you increase the value of the coins and rejoin you will realize that you still have zero that is because we made it so that we can get information but we didn't make it so that we can save information so technically your data will still be zero even after you leave the game now we're gonna save data we want to make it so that each time a player leaves data saves automatically right and that's why we have our player removing event here the first thing we gotta do is find the number value created once the player joined because remember this is going to create the number value automatically whenever a player joins so when the player leaves he should have the number value right yeah so for that we do local player coins equal player dot wait for child player coins and remember this might go up or down depending on what the player does in his gaming session and now we gotta save whatever amount of coins we have which we will know by checking the value property of player coins and the way we save data is also by using set async we also used it up here to enter the player into the list Ludius, we used that to put the player inside the list well guess what you can also use it to save data actually that's the only way you can save data because really what this does is override whatever the player is equal to on the list and if the player is not on the list then it will integrate him into the list with any value you set for it see not that hard to understand so you do player coins data store set async player that use your id comma player coins dot value and whatever the player coins value is it can be 300 400 depending on if he buys stuff depending on if he gets some more coins it can be whatever and we're pretty much just saving that data into the data store list up here the second argument was zero because he had no data meaning it was the first time he joined the game so it makes sense to make it equal to zero but down here we're making it so it's equal to the number value we created and the last thing is just add a print so you know if it was successful or not so i'm gonna put print data saved and that's all if you test now and get more coins then you will see that if you rejoin you still have the same amount of coins all done within less than 50 lines of code that's all i have for today bro i hope the video helped i have a discord community i'll be there every saturday night in a voice call trying to help you or just chat with you it's the first link in the description so if you're interested in that then you know what to do they said keep leveling up bro be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace